What's up everybody, this is Alois McElwain and welcome to my first video blog. So I've been doing uh, my YouTube channel for a little bit now and mostly up until now it's been just time-lapse videos, me showing the uh, process of my murals from beginning until end. But I figured, you know, we're under uh, self-quarantine right now, what better time to try something new? And so I figured I'd, I'd do a video blog kind of in the line of uh, what guys like Doak and Smo and Kipto were doing. You know, I really enjoy watching their entire process, even just seeing what they're thinking before they uh, start their murals. And I thought it was really entertaining. So I figured I would try to provide you guys with the same type of experience. So today we're going to be working on a new uh, freestyle mural. Um, I was uh, looking through uh, some pictures online and I found a couple of reference uh, pieces that I might want to use. I don't have a, a really big idea of what I'm going to do yet because for one, I don't know what colors I'm going to use. Most of the uh, cans of spray paint that I have left are like scrap cans left over from other projects. And I'd say probably at least half of them are completely empty. So um, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do for the, the color scheme or for the background, but we're going to see. And I think the other uh, first part of the process is just seeing what cans I actually have available to paint with. So that's what we're going to do first. So to be honest, I really don't have a ton to work with. Um, I found a bunch of red. So I know I'm probably gonna use red for the main base. And I found some denim blue and a couple colors of yellow, some pink, some a little bit of like seafoam green. Um, I found a black, a white, and some other scrap cans. But I really was like uh, working with the bare minimum here. I'm almost empty for most of my cans. so. Uh, it's definitely going to be a little bit of an experiment to figure out a good color palette for this piece, but you know, we're going to see what it does. We'll see. We'll work it out. So, I'm all set up. I'm about to get started. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay down a doodle grid on the board. Um, it's just a, a technique that I picked up from some of the uh, street artists overseas, and you basically uh, lay down a, a doodle grid as your reference points sometimes going from a small image on your phone to a larger image um, takes a little bit of time sometimes you mess up and you have to keep going back over it um, just because you really can't see some of the proportion until you step back all the way off of the board so you know i like to do a doodle grid sometimes first uh, just to help with my attention span and to just saves on overall time for the other uh, project um, i have about four hours before the sunset so i'm going to get uh, started So as you can see, I just finished my doodle grid. So I'm ready to get um, started on the actual uh, piece now. I really didn't have to do this much as far as the uh, doodle grid is concerned. Um, a lot of times you just need, you know, little marks here and there, but honestly, I like doing it. It's kind of fun just to doodle all over something. So um, I finished doing doodle grid now. It's time to get started uh, on working on the actual face. Then I'll check in with you guys after I start kind of laying it out a little bit. So guys, I finished the uh, the basic outline. I'll show you in a second. 
I had to grab my sunglasses because I realized in the last uh, couple of video clips I was squinting uncontrollably like I couldn't even see. So I grabbed my sunglasses. Um, so this is what I got done so far. And now it's time to kind of just like, uh, you know, do all the fill-ins and the shading and all the uh, finishing spots and stuff on this piece. It's coming out really good. I like the way it's coming out. So we'll see. I'm still trying to figure out what colors I'm going to use to do her skin, which has been the uh, dilemma the whole time. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually really happy with how it came out for a couple of different reasons. I don't know if you can tell while I was painting, but I actually ran out of several colors that I was using, so I had to try to think on my feet to figure out how to fix the problem. Originally, I was using navy blue to do my outlines, but I ran out of navy blue about halfway through and had to stretch my black between like 17 cans just to get the job done. I actually ran out of the blue that I was using for the bottom of the painting as well, 
but I wound up mixing three different blues together and that worked out. I wound up using red, pink, and yellow for the skin tone and I really, really love how it came out. The colors blended well together. I love putting the, uh, the shadow on there. I love putting the highlights on there, on the cheekbones and on the chin especially. I think it turned out really, really well, so I was proud of it. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about my process, just feel free to hit me up in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm really trying to push this channel out there. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.